Mother of four. How many different fathers? Four. How many times have you been married? None. That ain't gonna work. I've been proposed to three times. But that I ain't gonna work. It. That's not gonna work. Yeah, I never accept it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is not going to work. There's no marriage to a woman who has four kids by four different men who's never been married. What guy wants to follow that? So so your answer is I'm done. As far as marriage, in all likelihood, yeah. I mean, how old are you? 44. First off, ma'am, let's take you out of it. Do you have any sons? I do, two sons. Your two sons come back and both of them say, hey, mom, I found a woman with four kids from four different men. I'm going to marry her. You're going to say, go ahead, son. Let's go ahead and plan that up. Probably not. Exactly. I'll be honest. Probably not. Exactly. I, I mean, here's the thing. If you didn't need to be married to have babies, you don't need to be married. You don't need to be married now. That's really how men think about it. But still, you got to understand that you're deciding to come to these things at beyond middle age. Unless you're going to live to be 100, you are beyond middle age. It seems to now be a priority because at 44 with four kids, you were just out here doing what you wanted to do. You said you got a bag, okay. But now you don't want to die alone. Y'all see they didn't want to listen to him. Well, I'ma try now. Uh, don't tell me about me. Stop telling 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 me about me. I don't need you to tell me about me. Man, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, y'all, to another one, man. Another episode. Let's talk with Jerry Rich Jordan, man. Y'all hit that like. Y'all hit that subscribe for your boy on the way in. That's the only way we're going to grow around here. And we're trying to get a 20 case. So I need y'all help. Now, look, we've been having a lot of conversations about baby mothers because a lot of them seem to have an issue that men don't want to get into those situations. And they always try to play it off like, look, man, I might have made a mistake in the past. I'm still a good woman. My value shouldn't drop. Well, they don't understand or they refuse to acknowledge certain situations that might pop up that might deter other men from wanting to get into those types of situations. And I have one of those situations for y'all today. So y'all ready? Let's get it. I left my laptop over here, so I came to get it. And I get here and the person that I had to be daddy for, cause he didn't want to be a dad in the beginning. You know, he in the house with his game hooked to the TV I bought. You know what I'm saying? His clothes in here, he just chilling. I got to leave, I, I live here. I live here. He's gone, he's gone. You proud of yourself? Post it on Facebook. You proud of yourself? Hey, it's proud funny. of myself? It's funny. Okay. All right, y'all. We already starting off on a good note. Dude come to the crib to get his supposed laptop, and uh, he see the baby daddy up in the with his PlayStation hooked up, and it seems like the cops are there. The cops are there, and she's over there smiling. She thinks it's funny. I think the only thing she's worried about right now is if it's gonna get posted on Facebook. I'm sorry to tell you this, boo boo. It's it's on. Let's talk with JVJ. Let's keep going. His gang hooked the, the TV I bought. And then she gives, she gives the daughter I've been raising, the daughter I taught how to speak, the daughter I taught how to walk, the daughter I taught how to use the pot. She, he gave, she gave her to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crazy, man. You said, you, you, you said, but you just said, you just said that your baby daddy that didn't want to be a father that you said had AIDS. Hold up, hold up. I know I just, did she just, did he just, what? Play it again. You said that your baby daddy that didn't want to be a father that you said had AIDS. Yeah, that's what I thought I heard. All this, you said he came to pick up Summer, but his PlayStation hooked to the TV. That's what you said. I Yesterday. And why was he here yesterday? To come chill with Summer. You said get Summer. Now it's chill with Summer. You said he came to get Summer yesterday, but his PlayStation hooked to the TV I bought. He back here today at 12 a.m. to pick up Summer. His PlayStation still hooked to the TV. Three days after you told me I had to leave because you needed to focus on you and your career. And and dudes, you ain't have space for that. You ain't have space for our relationship. The person that's been here through thick and thin, regardless if I stayed home a week because Summer got sick and got me sick. And I couldn't go to work and brought, and gave you 300 out of the 350 I made because I was sick. Whatever I got, I give. 
and 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 that's the reason. Really, come on, bro. It ain't about money. It's about it's about loyalty. It's about it's about. Come on, bro. You don't know what it's about. Yo, the the dude. Listen, you killed my. You asked me to have a baby with you and killed it. Yeah, cause you got this dude. That, when were you? You were not paying for every. You had a baby. Okay, you had a baby with a dude while you were homeless, and no car. You had the baby. <laughs> Okay, you're not 17 now, and he back exactly. around with his PlayStation you hooked to my TV. Co-parent? What are you talking about? Co-parent? You had a parent in the house. What you talking about? Co-parenting? You just kicked her parent no. that taught her how. I taught her. I taught her how to talk. I taught her how to use the pot. I taught her how to walk. And you talking about you had a co-parent with this guy who didn't want to be a parent? Never said that you couldn't be in her life, but quite frankly, we're not gonna be together. I didn't want to be with you. You want to be with him? That's why his no. PlayStation hooked to the TV that I bought. No. Why his PlayStation end up here? I'm not gonna keep repeating myself. So he came to pick this up summer. Already squared away. He came to pick up summer. That's why his PlayStation hooked to the TV. He came over yesterday to see summer. Today you said you he said he, he left his PlayStation. Yes. <laughs> and he came to pick her up twelve o'clock in the morning. Got here at eleven. <laughs> Don't really not you. Really just me. Yeah, this ain't it, bro. You need to, you need to just go, bro. You need to get your stuff and just get on away from that girl. Like when I heard that she deleted your kid, you you should have been on and walked up out of there. I don't know why you were still around with her after she did that. But both of them seem to be dumb. But she a special kind of stupid. And ladies, that's a big reason why a lot of guys do not want to get into situations with you. Listen to this situation, y'all. This man's been raising this other man's child with this girl. They might have fell on their hard times or whatever. They went through some bad times. She got pregnant with his kid and she deleted his kid. And she said it because she didn't want to be broke. But she was broke and homeless when she had the first baby. Now look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm the arbiter of what's right and what's wrong, but uh this is a messed up situation. And this is a reason why a lot of dudes don't want to get into that. This girl literally just said at the end that she don't want to be with him. But he done spent all this time, he ain't gonna get that back. And a lot of men understand that we're not gonna get that time, we're not gonna be valued, it's not gonna be respected what we do for your child. This woman is just gonna get what she wants to get, and when she feels like she can move on to something better, or she's gonna go back to what she was dealing with before, she's gonna do it, and you're just gonna be sitting there looking stupid. But look, that's just my advice. Y'all ain't gotta listen to me. Do whatever the hell you wanna do. Y'all grown as adults. I'm just keep telling you not to. But y'all hit that like, y'all hit that subscribe, y'all let me know if this video was a W or a nail, and I'm gonna get up out of here and I'll catch y'all in the next one as always, man. Peace. Now don't tell me about me. Stop telling 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 me about me. I don't need you to tell me about me.